what is ultrasonic cleaning. Ultrasonic cleaning is a process created by high-frequency sound waves. The sound waves, enhanced by specially formulated cleaning solutions, create high-energy cavitation. During cavitation, millions of tiny bubbles form and then collapse or implode, releasing enormous amounts of energy and shock waves, which scour the surface of instruments, appliances, and other devices placed in the cleaning solution. This powerful scouring action reaches into minute crevices, removing large and microscopic debris that manual brushing cannot reach. Biosonic has a complete ultrasonic cleaning system with a full line of cleaning solutions and unit accessories, which provide you with the flexibility to efficiently clean instruments, prostheses, burrs, and other appliances using this process. How do I test my unit to verify it's working? In order to test your ultrasonic cleaning unit, you'll need to perform a foil test. To perform the foil test, you'll need your Biosonic UC150, Foil Test Kit FT1, and any Biosonic solution or other solution. If you don't have the FT1 test kit, you can use three strips of regular weight aluminum foil. First, prepare a fresh tank of cleaning solution according to the manufacturer's directions. Run the unit for five minutes to degas the solution. Using three rods, suspend three pieces of foil in the solution, making sure the edge of the foil is approximately six millimeters, a quarter inch, from the bottom and sides of the tank. Aluminum foil should not come in contact with the bottom or sides of the tank. Run the unit for a five minute cycle. Then, lift the foil out of the solution. An ultrasonic cleaner that is working properly will leave a pitted or wrinkled pattern in the foil. Holes should be observed in one or more of the aluminum foil pieces. Date the foil and keep it as a reference for the next time the test is performed. How long should I clean my instruments? There are several parameters to consider when determining the duration of any cleaning cycle size of the load being cleaned. The more instruments placed into an ultrasonic bath, the less effective the cleaning cycle will be. A larger load will require a longer cleaning cycle. Placing instruments in the basket so that they overlap is not recommended, as open surface areas will be easier to clean. Leaving clear space between instruments in a basket should lead to a more effective cleaning cycle. Amount and type of soil to be removed. Some contaminants have a stronger bond to the items being cleaned and may need a longer cleaning cycle. Also, the amount of soil on items being cleaned has an effect on the time required to complete a cleaning cycle. Type of cleaning solution used. Not all kinds of cleaning solutions are the same in regard to cleaning effectiveness. Some cleaning solutions work well on some contaminants, but not as well on other contaminants, which may require longer cleaning cycles. Type of water. Not all water is the same and may vary in level of contaminants and hardness, which can affect the level of cavitation in the solution. This can increase or decrease the time of a cleaning cycle. Solution temperature. The temperature of the solution can have an impact on the length and effectiveness of the cleaning cycle. Some solutions are more effective at a higher temperature, while others are more effective at a lower temperature. Consult the instructions of the solution for any requirements or recommendations from the manufacturer. How many times the solution has been used? Repeated use of the same solution bath will lead to decreased performance as the bath becomes saturated with soil. A longer cleaning cycle may be necessary when reusing old solution. How long instruments have been soiled prior to cleaning? Soil should not be allowed to dry on instruments prior to cleaning. It should be processed immediately following a procedure. If instruments cannot be cleaned immediately following a procedure, it's recommended that they be placed in a soaking solution so the soil does not harden on the instruments. This will increase the time of the cleaning cycle. The Biosonic ST16 Dental Soaking Tray is an example of a device designed for this purpose. 
Adjustments to one or more of these parameters may be necessary to achieve the desired level of cleaning. It's important to note that you should always consult the manufacturer's or supplier's instructions for use before cleaning a device. Our suggestions cannot replace the cleaning instructions provided by the manufacturer of the instruments. They are provided to help users get the most out of each cleaning cycle. If soil is still visible after the completion of a cleaning cycle, modification to one or more parameters may be required, and then additional cleaning cycles may be required until all soil is, at a minimum, visibly removed. How often should I change the solution bath? How often the solution bath is changed depends on the solution used, frequency of use, and size of cleaning loads. Changing your solution every eight hours at a minimum is recommended, or whenever the solution becomes visibly soiled or dirty. When beakers are used, change the solution in the beaker after each use. Why is there a high-pitched sound coming from the ultrasonic cleaner? When a unit is initially filled up with a fresh solution mix, there are lots of bubbles in the solution. If the unit is turned on right after fresh solution is added to the tank, there may be a screeching sound. Additionally, when placing a basket with instruments into the solution, air is introduced and dissolved in the solution, which may create a screeching sound. The noise is present in all biosonic cleaners, but is a normal occurrence and is not an indication of any issues with your device. The sound is simply a sign that a degas cycle may be required. What is degassing and why do I need to do this? Degassing is the process of eliminating large air bubbles in a solution. Before cavitation can become effective in an ultrasonic cleaner, the gas trapped in the liquid must be removed. If it's not removed, the cavitation bubbles will fill with this gas, cushioning the implosion force. Degassing is necessary each time a new solution is added to the tank. Your biosonic unit is equipped with a degas cycle that prepares your solution for use. Simply press the degas icon on the main screen, select solution type, and press the degas icon to start the degassing process. The timer will count down from five minutes. What solution should I be using? The purpose of the solution is to break the bonds between the instruments and the soil. Water alone has no cleaning properties and has high surface tension, which inhibits the cavitation bubbles from developing. Adding one of three types of cleaning solution reduces fluid surface tension and contains ingredients designed to optimize the ultrasonic cleaning process. Liquid solution allows for instantaneous solution preparation, while tablets and powder solutions must be fully dissolved prior to beginning the cleaning process. It is recommended that tablets and dry solutions be dissolved in hot water prior to placing them in the tank to prevent them from settling on the bottom of the tank until the ultrasonic action dissolves them. Note that some solutions specifically require the use of a beaker. Biosonic offers a full line of cleaning solutions, which offer the flexibility to efficiently clean and disinfect instruments, prostheses, and other items. It's recommended that Biosonic solutions be used with your Biosonic cleaner for consistent and effective performance. For more information on your UC150, consult your instructions for use or visit coolteen.com.